Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are here with the one, the only. Her name is Sarah and it's still Frasia. Hi, David Yanta. Oh, oh he's in LA, y'all. We live now just a stone's throw from one another. Um, and we're going to be out and about on the town. I can't wait. We're going to be doing some things together, doll. Listen to me. My winter residency in LA has started. People are loving the wallpaper. Guys, now you know my secret. When you see this wallpaper, Mama is recording in LA. But guess what? Nothing comes out day of. So don't ever think you know my whereabouts. <laughs> Good, like, I guess. For okay. everyone who's like, okay, well, your New York City pad is empty. Guess what? We have a doorman. We have security. Don't even think about it. And guess what? I might be in New York right now when you're listening to this. But this is being... See, wow. you... You fear people living where you fear people knowing where you live because you think you're going to get killed. I fear people knowing where I live because I think I'm going to get robbed. I ain't no Dorit or Kyle Richards. I'm not making that stupid mistake. Sorry. I love that way of like presenting that where um, like that just like subtle dig of like you're too poor for anyone to like break in and rob you. <laughs> that so was not, like that, that was not, no, that was not shade on this podcast before. <laughs> You know, Sarah's just worried about being murdered, but I'm worried about having all my valuables stolen because I'm so rich. Okay. You are reading into this. Oh, okay. One time on this podcast, everybody, oh I God. said, I think I didn't say your address. I didn't say your street. I said she lived in wherever in LA. We have lots of places in LA, Hollywood, West Hollywood, Studio City, Culver City, Downtown, Beverly Hills, Westwood, uh, Bel Air. And I revealed one place Sarah lived. The, there's millions of people in her location. And she said, afterwards, don't say the city I live in. Because that's how people get killed. So I'm just referring to you. It wasn't oh, a dig. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are both riled up today. <laughs> there ain't no valuables here, sweetie. Oh my God. Um, I love having you in LA and we have a ton to get to. Like, where do you where are you feeling? Where's your crystal ball telling us to go? Well, okay, my crystal ball is like it's just because like it's a week older it was last week's episode but let's talk a little bit about some of the happenings on we have issues with well we want to discuss not this week's but last week's beverly hills uh episode this episode where we had an appearance by oh. miss morgan wade and your your heartstrings were tugged oh out i this tribute the, you're you're referring to the episode of the tribute to lorene yes. um kyle's dear dear childhood friend I don't know who could have tuned into that and not, I honestly, I think it deserves an Emmy. I don't know if they do an Emmy for best reality TV show episode, but it was such a beautiful tribute. I mean, they tied in Sutton's story of her father's suicide. They talked about, you know, what's sometimes what is just the tragedy of suicide is like, you think people are fine. And then, you know, they take their lives in this moment. I Anthony Bourdain's um, documentary. Oh, what is it going? Um, oh, I'm not quite anyway, sure it's, about that. It's one of the greatest documentaries, I think. And it talked, it goes in depth a lot of times about suicide. And most people that take their lives don't want to, or even it's like they've had this idea, but it's like almost this unplanned thing a little bit. And, and it's like just in a split second, you know? Ugh. So- I, it was so deep. It was beautiful. I thought it reflected, you know, Mauricio was not there. I thought it said a lot about where their marriage was. And look, I, this episode was so beautiful. I don't want to take credit or any bloggers to take credit, but people had been saying they were separated and then they came out and denied it. I mean, it's so clear this filming was how many months ago? Well, we went to Homeless Not Toothless in- that's yeah. that's this week's episode. So the next time we record, we have oh, to talk I'm about sorry. our appearance. Mind you, we might not be in the episode at all, but we were there. But, you know, I mean, so, okay, that was probably shot last March. That was April. Maybe that was 100% April because that's right after I got my LA pad. And I remember I went home okay. and then I flew back just to see you and go to Homeless Not Toothless. Look, I mean, they were obviously separated. I mean, for him not to be there, it, it was so beautiful. I thought Morgan actually did a great job. Uh, she, uh, to me, Kyle, whether Morgan's reciprocating or not, Kyle is smitten with the Morgster. I mean, when Morgan is like rehearsing, you know, Kyle has to stop everything and just listen. She's so mesmerized. I mean, it's the cutest lesbian crush you've ever seen. 
Um, I mean, I was brokenhearted, like Lorraine's daughters and her mother was, and it's like, I just, it broke my heart. Like I, I cried the entire episode. I cried when they, I'm going to get emotional. I cried when they talked about Sutton. It was just set. Like, I don't think you, you see too many episodes. It just, you know, we see stupid stuff, right? We see New York fighting over cheese in a dumb restaurant. And I thought like, wow. And if you're a Roni legacy, you're fighting over dick, girl. You're fighting over a young dick. You're fighting over I mean, they all want fighting. the young dick. I thought, my God, you had this hot potential lesbian, you know, like romance, a marriage ending, the life of a friend being remembered. It was so beautiful. It was one of my favorite reality TV episodes. Really? I thought it was really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, what I liked about this episode the most is that, look, I mean, I say here behind the velvet robe every week, all that matters is your health. But really, I also say that like, Life is so simple. Like people that have drama in their life want drama. It's that simple. If you don't want drama, you wake up, you have drama from person A, and you just shoo them away and never speak to them again. It's very simple. You cannot lose real friends. So what I found is, I think this Kyle Richards is finally catching up to the David Yontef. Like it really does make you understand because Kyle has said in this episode, and she said it in interviews, like she doesn't want to waste one more minute of one more day, like with somebody or something that she does not want to be in. And it's like, welcome to adulthood. I, again, I'm not preaching. Some people, now everyone listening in your 20s, I don't know how you could be there because I was a mess in my 20s. I don't even think you get there in your 30s. I think you get there in your 40s, your 50s, some in the 60s. Shannon Bedore, Shannon Bedore, you're 60. You've got to catch up. No, no shade. Some people never get there. But I think Kyle has really realized because of Lorraine, like the meaning of. Excuse, bless you. Sorry, everyone. Bless some of us. Just because I had COVID and got better in four days, it takes a minute to get out of the system. I'm not contagious, but I think you have long-term effects. I'm sorry. Yes, you do. But, so I'm sorry, everyone. But um, I think we, to me, it's like, it's, it makes you realize, understand more that Kyle just woke up and she's like, this is it. Like, this is an address rehearsal. A lot of people pass in their 70s. Lots of people pass in their 80s, 90s, or 100s. But Doing the math, no age shaming, when you're in your 50s, you're looking at like possibly 20 good years. I think Kyle is just like, it, it. it's the joke's over. I don't care about anyone or anything. I just want to be happy. And that is truly, truly the meaning of life because you can't lose friends. Real friends, you don't lose. You lose all this fake shit. So I like this episode because it, it does make you understand why Kyle is done with Mauricio completely. Why she is probably done with Kathy. I mean, it's her sister, but she will, she's done with 